you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can go hello guys i'm back with a new video i specially decided to create this video about traffic uh, many customers many users in alexa master They complain about the visits sometimes they can't see the traffic on their analytics program so this video is about explaining how you track these visitors and how to troubleshoot these kind of issues let's say you have a website you can take traffic to your website in different way especially you paid for visitors then this traffic also comes to your website and thirdly i can say for traffic some search engine and uh, crawlers they are coming to your website and check for the content this kind of traffic also can be visible on your website how to track this traffic i will go through the uh, basic tracking systems like google analytics for example, you start your website, you are a beginner, then you register your account in Google Analytics and put a tiny JavaScript into your web pages, then Google start tracking your traffic. This traffic will show all kind of traffic including organic traffic and automatic traffic, advertising traffic, maybe bots also can be visible in Google Analytics. Then the, what you have to do, you have to set up your JavaScript, this Google Analytics tracking code very carefully. If you haven't installed this tracking code very well, you cannot see your visitors in your website. So you can complain Alexa Master Staff that you didn't receive your traffic, but exactly you didn't set up your Google Analytics very well, then you can't take that. So, I also explain more about some uh, websites which are based on WordPress. So the, let's say you are using a free WordPress website. So WordPress control your bandwidth. They have a limited bandwidth because they have a lot of free users. Then they have to control their resources. Then they will uh, sometimes they will slow down your website. Bandwidth is something. Um, let's say somebody visits your web page. They first they type your website on the browser, then they slowly it's loading on the web browser, and after a couple of seconds, then they your server deliver the website to the client's browser. This time can be changed. Uh, it can take many reasons to change this time. For example, let's say your internet service provider is slow, ISP. If ISP is slow, then it can take a long time to load your website also your server can manage your bandwidth for example wordpress sites they have a, a special algorithm uh, to manage this traffic so we call the uh, load balancing system this website can uh, a wordpress website can limited your limit your bandwidth and the, this limited bandwidth can affect on your traffic especially you advertise your website in alexa master then uh, you see on alexa master that you receive thousand visitors but at the end in the wordpress analytics it can show only 200 100 maybe 500 something like that so it happens let's say master advertise your website to a another person but this person when they load they open your website there is a technical issue from your server side or maybe the network or maybe from their isp different thing can happen if you are using a free service like wordpress free free service then there can be some issues so they really the visitor visits your website but the analytics program the wordpress uses javascript to track these visitors so this uh, whole content didn't load or uh, very well in the browser. Even the person visits your website, you can't see this traffic. So this bandwidth, you have to be very careful about the bandwidth. 
And thirdly, there can be many issues with your JavaScript. Maybe your source codes can have some issues. Then the JavaScript, this kind of JavaScript errors can uh, prevent loading your website on the visitor side. If any JavaScript comes when they load your website, it can affect your traffic. So you have to check your website very carefully. Uh, you can use uh, like, let's say Lighthouse from Google Chrome. It's a debugging tool. So you can check in this channel and down there you can find this video. So there you can understand how to check errors on your website. So you should check your JavaScript errors. Otherwise you will not receive traffic. Maybe I forgot something uh, to mention here, so please comment down and uh, you can corroborate this video more and I will answer you more. Put a thumbs up if you like. Even you hate me, put a dislike, don't forget to dislike. Subscribe to this channel. I will meet you with a new video.